Hello and welcome. Today we are going to talk about one of our low maintenance best friends, plants. Apart from making any place or corner look happy and bright and releasing oxygen by taking in carbon dioxide, some indoor plants also have the ability to filter out harmful chemicals from our surroundings. So let's proceed and say hi to some of my live indoor air purifier friends. Let's go. So first in line is the English Ivy. It is a very beautiful accent plant that looks great indoors in a planter or you can also put it as a hanging plant. This is a pretty new addition in my indoor garden so this is a little small right now. Uh, this plant uh, will only climb as high as you would allow it. It loves bright but indirect sunlight. Uh, should be watered regularly but since it's indoors I water it only when the topsoil goes dry. Uh, here you can see it's trying to latch on to a window and uh, climb up so I'll fix that later. I'll put a, a turrell or something to fix it. English ivy is known to filter benzene, formaldehyde, trichloroethylene, and xylene. It also filters out toluene out of our environment. So this is a real good addition to our indoor garden because indoor our air sometimes gets very stale and with all the chemical fumes, these plants really come in handy. Next is this bright and beautiful fern that I have uh, in my planter. It's sharing space with prayer plant and wandering Jew. Uh, this is a non-toxic fern that filters formaldehyde, xylene and toluene from our environment. This fern doesn't shed uh, the leaves or leave a mess so it's a great indoor plant. It loves bright indirect sunlight. The leaves uh, would turn pale green when your plant is thirsty. So again, as it's an indoor plant, I make sure that the topsoil is dry before I water it. This plant likes humidity, so you can probably try to uh, mist the leaves in between watering. It will love it for you, love it. And we'll love you too for that. Here you can see the tendrils of my mint trying to invade the space. Um, it's in a separate planter though, so this plant is safe right here, and this planter is safe. It's not going to invade in their space. And I'll also be trimming down these shoots of mint that are coming out. I love how beautiful these leaves are. Next in line is the flamingo lily or also known as Inthorium. It has a classic lily look and brilliant red or pink blooms. They like areas with lots of bright indirect sunlight. They should be watered regularly and thoroughly. Uh, these uh, flamingo lilies uh, can filter formaldehyde, xylene, toluene and ammonia out of our environment. But uh, we need to be careful as they can be toxic uh, to the pets. So should be pro probably kept um, at a location where they cannot reach or um, if you have pet in the house then you need to be more careful. Uh, with this plant. It has this bright leaf and you can see some of the pollens have fallen out and uh, dusted the plant. Next in line is Dracaena. Uh, it is a low maintenance house plant with beautiful leaves. Uh, it can grow up to 10 to 15 feet in height. Be careful not to overwater it as uh, it can quickly kill the plant. It loves moderate to bright indirect sunlight. Um, if it 
it if it is in a place where it would get a lot of sunlight it would develop like brown spots on the leaves it this plant can filter out benzene formaldehyde trichloroethylene xylene and toluene from our environment so really handy to have in the house so that you can breathe in clean air all the year round and this is a pretty hardy plant i just got it like a shoot cutting and put it in the soil and it has caught up really good next to the line is this beautiful peace lily plant it has got like real bright foliage and big leaves uh, the dust that you see is fallen from the pollen of the last uh, last flower it had and uh, that flower like it lived it li its life so it has gone now but it has left its pollen uh, this is a great air filter it can remove benzene formaldehyde trichloroethylene xylene toluene and ammonia from our environment um, the peace lilies love medium to low light if you want your lily to produce more flowers place it in more light plants in low light will look more like a typical foliage plant so right now it's in a place where it gets medium to low light so it is it has slowed down in its flowering do let me know how you like the video guys and uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you in the next video thank you bye bye